guys wow that came out so high pitched sorry what is up guys tabby here and welcome back to my channel as you guys already know from the title of this video we have our first box from Litger Crate's new magical subscription box, and it is Magical Alley. And y'all, look at this box. As always, Litger Crate shows out on their boxes. We have Harry, Harry, we have Harry with Hagrid. Then we have a shop that says Magical Menagerie, Menagerie, Magical Menagerie Pet Shop. Then we have another shop. Oh, Weasley Wizard Weezes, and then Madame Malkin's Robes for All Occasions, very cool. And then Gringotts, of course, with the dragon. And on the bottom, we have Nocturne Alley, dun dun dun. But like I said, guys, this is the new subscription box from Lit Droid Crate, and it's all about Harry Potter. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for this, to be honest, I will put it on the screen. But you also know that Lidger Crate got me because I bought all of the add-ons that they had for this box. So yeah, I spent quite a bit of money, but thankfully I am a Lunicorn. So I did end up getting to save a little bit of money by using my points as money. So that really is one great thing about becoming a Lunicorn. It's $10 a month, but that $10 transfers to points that you can use later on when you're buying boxes or add-ons or other items like that. So it definitely does pay in my opinion to become a Lunicorn. But as always, I just wanna go ahead and see what we got. So let's do a sneak peek. Can't really see much. Got some wiggly worms. Okay, first item in the box is Madame Primpernels. Primp Primpernels. Maybe. Plume et Bloom Perfume. Beautiful floral scent that's light as a feather. Is this actual perfume? Hold on. Carefully formulated with the most fragrant flowers and the most colorful feathers, this product has proven itself one of the best perfumes for years. Okay, is this really perfume? Let us find out. Oh, what is, wait, what is this? What is this? Okay, so this is the top of the perfume bottle, hold the phone. Okay, <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> it's not actual perfume, okay. But I can't even be mad at it because this bottle is gorgeous. I love the pink kind of coloring to it, the little gold accents and the flower design here. Like, there are no other words. This is just gorgeous. I'm probably going to end up displaying it right here with some of my other favorite bottles. Yes, great, great way to start this box. We're going to put you right there. Next, we have a little canister that says Florian for Tescues. Names. Why? Ice cream inspired flavors, chocolate raspberries. Seven tea bags, a Litger Crate exclusive, and it does have ingredients. So it's literally tea bags in here. Oh, I do smell the raspberry. As you guys know, I am not a fan of tea. I have tried, I really have, but I just, oh, I cannot, I don't like it. <laughs> don't hate me. So I'll probably end up taking these out. Um, my husband does drink tea every blue moon, so I'll probably put them in something else and end up putting something else in this canister because it's a very cute canister. I like the design. And this will probably end up on my bookshelves eventually if I ever get them up. So yeah, that is the second item. Next, we have a box that says, Magical Menagerie, congratulations on your new pet. Take good care of it and keep a close eye on it at all times. Magical Menagerie is not responsible for any cases of Animega. <laughs> oh, look. I have an actual pet. Okay, let's, how do you open this? So I got a frog or a toad. I'm, 
I'm not sure. It honestly reminds me of a chocolate frog. Um, but it's an actual like stuffed animal chocolate. No, it's not a chocolate frog. A frog or a toad. To be honest, this is not my favorite item. Like it really is just like a stuffed animal. Maybe if it would have been like a different creature, like a Niffler or something else. I would have liked it more, but yeah, definitely not my favorite item so far. I'll probably end up giving this to my kids to play with. So yeah, <laughs> but I liked the box. That was cute. Oh yes, I am a fan of this. Y'all, we have our very own staff pin badge for Weasley Wizard Wheezes. Oh, I wanna put this on. That is amazing. I love the coloring, the design, everything. And it's one that you can actually put on and wear. Oh, oh, I don't know if I wanna get holes in this. Oh, I really wanna wear it though. Okay, whatever, I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> I'm a staff member at Weasley Wizard Wheezes. Let's get this bad boy back on. Okay, now that is cool. Yes, I would happily, Happily quit my job and work in Weasley Wizard Weezes. Yes, that is awesome. Okay, <laughs> my hair covers it. Stupid hair. Okay, well, I'm gonna take it off because my hair covers it, but that is, oh, that is awesome. And I'm pretty sure this is actual metal, so really good quality, yes. Oh, I'm a fan. Next, we have a black box that says LitJoy Alohomora Collection. Loving the foiling detail. That is one thing I will say about Lidger Crate. They don't skimp on packaging. Like their items are always amazing, but even the packaging is always on point. So what? Oh, this is one of the add-ons. Okay, so not all of the add-ons are on here because one of them was a robe and I don't see it. This was the Borgen and Burks keychain. And you guys might be like, Tabitha, you bought a keychain? You hate keychains. Yes, normally I am not a fan of getting keychains in boxes, but if they looked like this, I would never complain again. I saw this and I just, y'all, I just had to have it. As you can tell, we have the key ring down here and then there's like three different parts of it. We have the Borgen and Burks kind of like door sign. And then we have kind of a key here with the skull on the top, but I don't know if you can see this. It's like a snake detail on the bottom. And then we have another skull detail with like these little dangly things. I love everything about this. The design, like, ugh, yes, 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 yes. Money well spent in my opinion. <laughs> I have two more of those. So I think this might be the next keychain that I got. And it is, it is the Honey Dukes keychain. Oh, that is so cute. I am loving the colors as always. We have an H here, kind of a jelly bean right here. Again, a key design. And then right here we have a chocolate frog, pumpkin juice, and it says homemade sweets. And then this little design here looks like more jelly beans. Like that is just beyond cute. Again, Lidra Crate, you know how to get my money. Like, yes. Oh, I love it. Love it. Uh -huh. And last but not least. Oh, and now this is the key ring that you can put all of that on. And it has two little things here. This one says Lidra Crate Alohomora Collection. And then this one is Keeper of the Keys which people always forget about was one of Hagrid's kind of titles when he introduced himself. Hagrid, keeper of keys and groundskeeper at Hogwarts or whatever. So look how massive this is. I love this so freaking much. I honestly really hope Lizard Crate continues to have new like keychain designs for each of their magical boxes. And I never thought those words would come out of my mouth, but yes, I want more keychains. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have another box that says Al Eporium Ilops. Is that what that says? Ilops? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> what in the world is this? Hold on while I try to piece this together. What? 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 We have this right here, which is the same design as the box. 
Oh, it's like magnets. Okay, so that goes there, I'm assuming. Is this right? I have no idea what this is. I love it, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> like I'm assuming it's like a little thing you can put stuff on. I don't, I, what? So we also have little Hedwig things. Where do you go? So I put them right there. So I thought maybe the little Hedwig things go on this thing. Uh, I don't think that's right. I'm so confused. I don't, I don't know, that doesn't look right. Maybe the spoiler card when we get to it will elude to how to do this and what this is. So we'll put this, we'll put that right there. And next we have two enamel pins. It is the kind of hand sign that points to Diagon Alley and Nocturne Alley. Like my little wooden sign that I got from the Wizarding Trunk. Yes, I love these. They are on the smaller side for an enamel pin, but I don't even care. Love it. And next there's a little card telling us more about Lunicorns. As a member, you get 100 reward points every month. Lunicorns only exclusive items, even though I will say, even those go so freaking fast. There was one item that I really liked, but by the time I even got there, it was already sold out, so yeah. Extra deals and giveaways, early sneak peeks of new products, early access to select new release products, and access to the private Lunicorn Facebook group. Again, I totally think it's worth it, $10 a month. Next, we have a little art print that says Diagon Alley, and it has a lot of the different shops. We even see Harry right here coming out of all of Vander's. And I do believe this right here is Hermione. We see Ron with Molly, maybe? Maybe? But yeah, very cool art print. I love all of the different colors. Oh my God. We have a wand, I'm assuming, from Ollivander's. Look at the gold foiling. I'm sorry, but I have to save this for last. You guys know I love wands. Oh, all of the feels. It's like a little photo strip of Harry and Hagrid. And it even says down here, my first visit to Diagon Alley. Like, how cute is that? It's like showing Harry and Hagrid and then he hugs him and then he breaks his glasses and Hagrid's gonna fix it with his umbrella. That is too freaking cute. It's kind of like in a bookmark shape. So I don't know if this is meant to be like a bookmark or if it's just kind of an art print designed this way. Either way, I'm in love with it. I will probably end up using it as a bookmark though because just every time you see it, it'll make you smile. Oh, I love it. Oh, thank God, it came with instructions. Yeah, I totally did that wrong. <laughs> okay, thank God, I'll fix it later. Wow, that's sad. Next, we have a little green pouch. It feels like a coin, and it is, it says, Alohomora Unlocking Charm, The Thief's Friend. And then kind of an arrow design on the back. This actually has some weight to it. So again, as always, great quality. I expect nothing less from Litjoy Crate. So this will be perfect to go with my Harry Potter coin collection. The Thief's Friend. Go steal some stuff. Okay, so last is the wand. If this is not a wand, I'm gonna be so sad. Again, I love the packaging. Holy rabies, y'all. Oh my God. I love it. Oh my God. Oh, wow. So this is a little shorter than the wands we get from Noble Collections, but the design of this is amazing. I love this little gem kind of accent on the end and it's very comfortable to hold, swish and flick. This might be my favorite wand that I've ever gotten. Even though I really do love my wand that I got from Yield Curiosity Box. This is actually the one that I had ended up winning 
um, because I got the golden coin in my box and you know it's gold and sparkly with this kind of swirl design so I don't know this uh but I absolutely love this very authentic to the wizarding world like I totally believe that I got this from Ollivander's but guys, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card. This is the front. It's kind of like a map of Diagon Alley with different shop names on there. And then on the back, we have all of our items, which was the theme art print, the Diagon Alley Nocturne Alley enamel pen set, the Ilops Owl Emporium candle carousel. Of all the animals we know and love in the world of magic, the owl has been the most faithful and helpful to witches and wizards for centuries. Harry's first true birthday present was Hedwig, a snowy owl purchased at Ilop's Owl Emporium by Hagrid. We celebrate the huge role owls play and the loving, loyal friendship between Harry and Hedwig with this beautiful owl candle carousel. Place a lit candle on the plate under the carousel and watch the owls take flight. Okay, I have got to try this because I have a candle lit. Hold on. Oh, it's starting to move. Maybe. Oh, that is so freaking cool. Okay, I love that even more. That is amazing. Okay. Then we had da, 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 the Ollivander's Wand, Magical Menagerie Pet, the Hagrid and Harry's photo strip. Join Hagrid as we take Harry on his first trip through Diagon Alley. Be sure to stop at the complimentary photo booth to commemorate this moment. It may be a bit squishy with Hagrid in there. And then we had the collectible spell coin. Practice your charms and spells with our coin collection. Each magical crate will feature a different spell or charm coin and its corresponding wand motion. Oh. So this is the wand motion for Alohomora. I honestly didn't even understand the design of this, but it's the wand motion, Alohomora. Yes, Lidjoy Crates. Then we had Madame Primbernell's um, Beautifying Potions, the perfume bottle, and we had the Weasley Wizard Weezes Staff Badge. And then the featured add-ons was the Sweets Shop Key, the Dark Magic Shop Key, and then the key ring for Alohomora key add-on collections. So we had those three. So overall, not including the add-ons, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items. So ten items overall. But as always, you guys will have to let me know what's your favorite item, least favorite. Hands down for me, you know it has to be the wand. Just the design, quality, everything is amazing. Least favorite, as you probably already know, is the little chocolate frog, it's not chocolate, the frog toad stuffed animal. Um, but everything else other than that, I absolutely adored. And I love that we're getting collectible items that is gonna be in every single box. Like that just makes me even more excited to get the next box. Overall, I thought this was an absolute amazing box. I expect nothing less from Lit Joy Crate. But as always, I would love to hear what you guys thought in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> It's here, it's here, it's finally here. Y'all. Magical menagerie. Menagerie? Was that a word? And you can't really see it, but I'm actually wearing their Bobaton sweater. This was from Lit Joy Crates. <laughs> and then. What am I trying to say? Dark side is calling to me, y'all. Like. Ow, damn, I just stabbed myself, okay. These are dangerous. Photos trip, it's trip. It's like a photocodobra. Mountain high and a rainbow in November.
Oh my God, Tabitha. I was literally about to take the thumbnail picture with all of the items in the back. <laughs> wow, I am so out of practice of this. Oh, sneak peek, y'all. Talent. Dun, 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 dun.